The Magic Mountain is a sprawling, complex novel that explores a wide range of themes, including time, mortality, illness, human experience, and the nature of reality. It tells the story of Hans Castorp, a young man from Hamburg who visits his cousin Joachim Ziemsen in a sanatorium in the Swiss Alps. Hans intends to stay for only three weeks, but ends up staying for seven years. The novel is structured around a series of contrasts, between life in the sanatorium and life in the outside world, between health and illness, between reason and irrationality, and between tradition and modernity. These contrasts are embodied in the characters that populate the novel, who represent a variety of viewpoints and philosophies. Hans becomes increasingly drawn into the world of the sanatorium, fascinated by the exotic mix of patients, doctors, and other visitors. He befriends several of the other patients, including a Russian diplomat, a Frenchwoman suffering from heart disease, and a Jewish businessman. These characters provide a diverse and richly drawn backdrop against which the novel's themes are explored. As the novel progresses, Hans becomes increasingly preoccupied with the idea of time, and the way that illness can distort our perception of it. He begins to experience time in a more fluid and subjective way, as his illness causes him to lose his grip on the present moment. This theme is central to the novel, as it highlights the way that illness can fundamentally alter our experience of the world. Hans also becomes involved in a philosophical debate with two other patients, Setembrini and Nafta, about the nature of human experience. Setembrini represents the rational and optimistic side of modernity, while Nafta represents its darker, more irrational side. The debate between these two characters is one of the novel's key set pieces, as it explores the tension between reason and irrationality, and between tradition and modernity. Meanwhile, Hans' health begins to deteriorate, and he becomes increasingly obsessed with the idea of death. He experiences a series of hallucinations and visions, which lead him to question the nature of reality and the meaning of life. These visions are both unsettling and profound, as they highlight the fragility of human existence and the ultimate futility of our efforts to control our lives. Hans also becomes involved in a romantic relationship with a young woman named Klavdia Chowchat, who is also a patient at the sanatorium. Their relationship is passionate but ultimately doomed, as Klavdia represents the fleeting nature of life and the inevitability of death. This relationship is one of the novel's most poignant and affecting elements, as it highlights the way that our relationships can provide both joy and pain, and how they can be profoundly affected by our mortality. As the novel draws to a close, the tensions between the various characters reach a climax. Han's health takes a turn for the worse, and he is forced to confront his own mortality. In the final chapters, he has a series of visions in which he sees the world from a new perspective, and comes to a deeper understanding of the nature of existence. These visions are both moving and profound, as they suggest that the only way to truly understand the nature of life is to confront our own mortality head-on. Overall, The Magic Mountain is a complex and deeply philosophical novel that explores the fundamental questions of human existence. Man's prose is rich and evocative, capturing both the beauty and the fragility of life in a way that is both profound and haunting. The novel is a masterpiece of modernist literature, and remains a towering achievement of 20th-century writing.